Bestis and Amaras, I just want to share this with you, all right? So, after the birthday of my hubby, after his birthday yesterday, you know, he drove me, he took me to the emergency room, you know, because after the party, I, I, have, I was having trouble breathing. And when I got checked, uh, the doctor told me I have a blocked airway, you know, my airways are blocked. I was coughing tremendously and then I have this tightness of the chest, shortness of breathing, you know, shortness of breath, and then trouble breathing, wheezing. So they diagnosed me of eosinophilic asthma. So what is asthma? This is a long-term problem, my besties and amores. You know, there's a problem in the tubes, you know, that carry air into your lungs and that can make it hard for you to breathe. So these airways, if they're black or so narrow, if they get so narrow, you know, the air can't move freely. So these can cause several or serious symptoms like such as wheezing, breathlessness, you know, known as asthma attacks. So there's no cure, but you know, most people can control their symptoms, all right? Just like me, I was using these all kinds of inhalers and you know, the majority of kids with, with asthma, you know, eventually grow out of it. But unfortunately, it didn't work for me. So symptoms of an asthma, what are the symptoms? You know, you could be short of breath, you're gasping for air, you know, and you feel like you, it's very tight right here when on your chest when you want to breathe. There's some tightness, you know. You hear wheezing, like whistling sound in your chest, like, <coughs> like that. And you may not be able to stop coughing and wheezing. Yesterday, it was terrible. I was literally vomiting because of the cough. And... You know, a severe asthma attack can be really life-threatening if you don't use medicine to do something about it. Okay, just like me, I use like albuterol, you know, etc. And, and when are you going to call 911? Okay, my best is if you're too breathless to walk or talk, like as, as in you can't breathe anymore. And, or your lips or your fingernails look blue or even you use inhalers doesn't help or your body isn't getting enough oxygen see like me i'm having trouble breathing so you'll need emergency treatment to help open your airways just like me i use the puff you know four times and you know and you have to get your oxygens, your oxygen levels, you know, back up. So you'll also need treatment if you have an asthma plan, like asthma plan of treatment, you know. You know, and what are the early, early signs, like what I mentioned earlier. You know, sometimes asthma will cause less, like, dramatic symptoms. Okay. Like me, you may cough a lot, especially at night. I couldn't sleep, you know. You have like a hard time sleeping. Like me, look at my eyes. You feel so drained for no reason. Like you're so weak. You seem out of breath. And these symptoms won't stop your day, you know. But they can be warning signs that are full on asthma attack is coming so while i was cooking the pig you know for the birthday yesterday i was literally feeling like this you know like so if you're an adult with asthma that's hard to manage it's possible you have like me you have eosinophilic asthma it's a actually a subtype of 
the regular asthma that's us usually severe it's the severe severe form and often much harder to keep in check <sighs> you know so uh, the symptoms can be similar to the other types of asthma like the regular one like when you were a kid okay but sometimes they have their own twist to them so and people with eosinophilic asthma like me often have other health conditions you know as well so i have diabetes this and that and a lot more so you can't really tell if you have eosinophilic asthma just from watching your symptoms and conditions you really have to undergo a test several tests and you know so common symptoms of eosinophilic asthma like what i mentioned before having uh your airways blocked you know coughing especially at night it's severe tightness in the chest here in the middle shortness of breath and hard time breathing like as in you have to like hold the table and prepare your lungs to expand and you know and then wheezing so while these symptoms are the same as other kinds of asthma they tend to be more constant and severe severe especially at night you know with this kind of condition that is in asthma and it's hard you know so you're also likely to have more frequent asthma attacks you know which tend to be more serious and dangerous too oh my best is so be careful okay so if you feel like you're wheezing at night if you have the symptoms that i just mentioned earlier go to the doctor and have your lungs checked okay you're probably already experiencing eosinophilic asthma, which is life-threatening. So I recommend you guys to, if you feel like that, those uh, symptoms I mentioned, please hurry, go to the emergency room.